is interesting because I find that, um, have you found that with the cons the Hispanic consumer, there's also like a dual loyalty yep. to my home country, mm -hmm. to where I live. Yes. So does that fall under that realm as well? So the community story that we're going to be telling within this specific campaign is going to be around, the, the content is basically around the actions that have already taken place. So we've been giving to urban communities um, in different ways. And, and what I love about our giving story is that our giving story is actually our we are going to make you self-sufficient. We are going to empower versus we're going to cut you a check. Exactly. Um, but the communities that we've been giving to so far are urban communities here in the U.S., not country of residence. Um, and really the desire is to tap into, as the video stated, yes, you are you're Mexican, Colombian, but you also feel American. You know, so, so this well. community is a part of who you are right now. We're not at the... Uh, overseas stage yet. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. I mean, it's just that I know it does, that duality does exist. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, can I interject? We do give globally, but I don't know how much it intersects you know, with our, with what we do domestically, but we do have a global strategy as well as part of our community and social investment initiatives. Thank you. Okay. I have a question. Yep. Talk about the Latino community. You're saying that you're, I don't want to say procrastinate, but you're procrastinating on targeting that market yep. because of the different dialect that consists of that market? No, no, no. And that was one of the factors, um, a big one, though. Um, it was actually, a, it was a couple of things. It's the, uh, the organizational readiness. So what we did is we um, had an assessment and we basically took inventory of all of the businesses, our institutional businesses as well as our retail businesses to determine the readiness of their organization. Um, and when I say readiness of their organization, it's the marketing teams and the sales teams. Um, and where we netted out was that we would have to prioritize two segments. There's only two of us. Um, so we would have to prioritize two segments to be able to demonstrate a win so that the organization would rally around multicultural marketing, period. Um, when it comes to, you know, to developing the strategy from a Hispanic perspective, I think there are a couple of things. I mean, the first is, yes, the language piece is huge. Um, but then I think the other thing, too, is the actual mindset of retirement planning. I mean, that's something, when we actually took a look at the over-indexing of the black consumer segment versus the Hispanic consumer segment and being predisposed to actually plan financially for future, the indices that we saw with the black consumer were like 190 and 193. The Hispanic consumer under index. So there's an education piece that needs to happen on culturally around why you want to look forward. Um, and that education process is going to take some time. So that was, it's really the, the organizational readiness and the consumer readiness that led us there. But don't you think it's because of companies like Prudential that have not informed the consumer, yes. the Latino consumer, that they have to look at the, their retirement planning to be able to become more knowledgeable about it, to be able to be saving on it? Yes. That's the piece that's missing. And, you know, your, your video clearly uh, depicted that that's going to be one of the largest growing communities, going after the parents today that might not be so educated, but their kids are being raised here, okay, their education level, as you look around the room, is totally different than what it was 15 years ago, I would say, okay, and, you know, that being the case, I think that we're here more looking at our retirement plan, mm -hmm. not only as Latinos, but as Americans, and those children that are looking at teens at 2020, I think a lot more are going to be there, so I think that planning or trying to educate that consumer a lot faster yes. so that way as their kids grow up because they grow up pretty quick yeah. um, they would be able to say okay this mm -hmm. is where I'm at and this is what I'm planning to do so as to opposed to just even if it's a small sector but as opposed to just waiting to see what happens or letting Coca-Cola and Procter Gamble develop that first yeah so <laughs> so the education for us to educate them we need to educate ourselves and that's really what that financial experience study is going to be um, we can't go out there and um, claim to know this consumer if we don't know this consumer. So we need to know what's inside you the consumer. You are the consumer. We're Latinos. Yeah, yeah, we are. <laughs> we are um, but I think, you know, on a, on a macro, just U.S. Um, level, we just haven't, we haven't developed the research tools to actually educate ourselves to even know how we would talk to this consumer. And can I just add to that? 
Um, when we talk about business readiness, one common problem that we have within the financial services industry as a whole is our legacy systems and being able to buy um, the new software that can link up our system so that we can develop um, strategies and plans to really target that consumer in a meaningful way. So I will say that our institutional businesses are ahead of the curve in terms of um, targeting the Hispanic uh, consumer segment. So we have initiatives on our retirement side as well as our group insurance side specifically um, for the Hispanic market. Um, we, we haven't gotten there on the retail side and we're going to leverage those learnings that we get from our institutional businesses to ensure that we can take this to total market strategy approach at an enterprise level. You, you know what's interesting is uh, you're very passionate about what you're saying, <laughs> but at the same time, it goes back to the point you were making about the segment moves into the general population and then, and then we move out of it. And if you remember our parents, because it depends on generations, right? They're like, ah, vive el para hoy, you know, live for today, <laughs> ah, Social Security will take care of that, or ah, you know, don't worry about it. That's a cultural 